to continue talking about takeout doubles, like we were talking about over the past couple of weeks. But this week we're going to focus on the responder's hand. And I'll give you an example of a hand we may have when partner doubles. What should we do? Well, first let's look at how we would answer if partner has opened. So we have this hand. Three small, king, queen, fourth, ace, jack, third, and three small. If partner opens one club, what would we respond? One heart. One heart. Okay, so does anything change if the auction goes one club by our opponent and partner doubles? No. The answer is yes. There are two things we show in a takeout double. The first thing we show is length. We bid our longest suit, typically, unless we bid no trump. The second thing we show is strength. So partner knows a little bit about the value of our hand. Because if you remember our, our, our point count ranges, I, the point count ranges I gave you last week were what I play, and they are one point below standard. We're gonna play standard. So our point count range is zero to eight. We respond at the lowest level. So, there has to be a difference between the hand we just saw and a hand that has no points in it. Just, we've all had those hands. Partner doubles with their 20 point hand, like we said, we double with any 18 point plus hand, and partner has nothing, but they can't pass. So with zero to eight, we respond the lowest. With nine to 11, then we have to let partner know we have a little something. So that's the hand we just saw, and that will be a jump. Bid. And with any 12 plus hand, that would be a game forcing bid. And that's a Q. Not a goo, a Q. <laughs> that's a Q bid. So a Q bid is repeating the same thing, open or open. So if it goes one club, double, pass, that's two club bid when we have 12 plus. And that's, again, kind of like that 18 plus hand, any 12 plus hand is a Q bid. So what about a double jump hand? So we don't use double jump to show extra value. We show a qubit to show extra value. So a double jump, we'll put that right here in the middle. Double jump would mean if it went one club, double, has three hearts. That's a double jump. That shows length and probably not much high card value. Has to be less than 12 because we're required to qubit with 12. So we'll look at a little example, see if, we, see if we can get this right. Uh, what do we have here, five, four? So partner opens one, they open one club and partner doubles. So with this hand, two, two hearts, we have Nine high card points, it's in this range. We need to jump a level to let partner know we're not absolutely minimum. I think this one's gonna be easy. Ooh. We've had these hands. Ooh. Partner, one club double, what do we bid? You have to bid something, yeah. unfortunately. So you pick your longest suit. We have length and strength. So you bid your longest suit. Pass is not an option. Pass is only an option when you have an incredible length in opener suit. That kind of comes up once in a blue moon. You have a six card suit in whatever opener is open. That's the only time you can pass. So let's look at one more, just so we know what we're doing. Okay, now it's gone. One club, double, now what? We have an opening hand. Two clubs, two clubs. And that says partner can do anything. They can get either one of our majors. They can say they have a club stop if they want. Two clubs just says, let's go to game somewhere. I've got a nice hand, I'm not sure where our game is. Let's go to game somewhere. So remember to show not only your length, which we're, we're used to doing when partner doubles, but also our strength. And, and that changes 
that's different from when partner just opens one club. Okay, so remember these numbers. Zero to eight is our lowest bid. Nine to 11 is our jump. Our double jump is length with less than, I don't know which way less than sign is. Less than 12, is that less than? No. Okay, good. <laughs> with less than 12, and 12 plus is any, yeah, any hand with 12 plus starts with a cue bid. All right, let's play. Thank you.